In this video, I'm going to show you one of many hit routines that I perform, and in particular, this one, we're going to use battle ropes. So, battle ropes are a great tool at, you know, really conditioning your body, burning calories, and just making you into an absolute machine. If you do it properly, you know, you shouldn't damage your shoulders in any way. So when doing it, you want to really keep your torso upright and keep your shoulder fixed, the shoulder joint fixed in place. So if you do an alternate, you know, rope, the alternate rope method, you want to be doing it like this if you're playing the drums, not going side to side like this, which I see some people doing. This is just going to mess your body up, okay? Keep everything fixed, only thing's happening is this kind of thing, okay? And if you're doing both ropes at the same time, again, up, down, up, down, keep your shoulders fixed in place. It's okay to come back and forward, bend your knees a little bit. But again, you just don't want this whole funky little thing which some people have going on. The same if you're doing side to side, keep your shoulders fixed in place. And if you do have a shoulder injury, um, you might be better off just avoiding these completely. Uh, so that's the basics of doing battle ropes. One of the most important things when doing this is to give every single thing that you can possibly give. The whole point of doing high intensity interval training is that you're giving 100%. Okay, if you're not, if you're giving 80%, 70%, you're just doing interval training. You have to become so good at dealing with being uncomfortable, okay? And usually with high intensity interval training, it's not pleasant, it never is pleasant, it doesn't get easier. Yes, you get better adapted at dealing with that kind of stress, but it doesn't mean it gets easier, it's always, torturous and if it isn't you're not trying hard enough so in general when doing the battle ropes if you're given everything you can possibly give you will start to fizzle out around 15 to 20 seconds okay if you're very very conditioned you can continue to give 100% you know the, the sprint phase for maybe a little bit longer than 20 seconds especially if, you, if you're fresh for me I start to really start to slow down after 15 seconds so when I do my intervals I don't really do more than 15 seconds I could possibly do 20 seconds, but the rest period to allow me to give 100% for the entire 20 seconds or more would have to be a lot longer. Okay, so if I'm having just 30 seconds rest or more, I'm really going to fatigue very quickly and the intensity that I give within those sprint phases aren't going to be as high, say for example, if I was to have a 45 second or 60 second break. So when doing this, you, you really want to plan what the goal is or the type of training that you are going to be doing. So for pure high intensity interval training, I'm going to need a longer rest period to allow my sprint phases to be 100% of my effort for you know a decent amount of time. If you want to focus more on your fitness, your conditioning, and change it more towards interval training, it would be more like 10 seconds on, or 10 seconds on, 20 seconds off, or you know 10 seconds on, 15 seconds off. So it's literally very short rest period and then you go in straight again. But the thing is, like I said before, when you do something like that, the intensity during the sprint phase isn't gonna be 100%. So, I'm gonna keep it at that for this video. I'm gonna show you what I do uh, for the battle ropes. Um, and I think in another video, I'll talk more about high intensity interval training, the different types of training you can do, who it's suitable for, the benefits and disadvantages, and whether or not you actually need to do it. Okay, you don't need to do it, but everybody hates doing it. And that's why I believe everyone should do it. Everyone should do the things that they don't like doing. Because that's what the best people do. The best people out there do the things that the other people hate to do. So keep that in mind. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll have more coming soon. Right. Everyone always asks me how much those ropes weigh. I actually have no idea. I'll find them see. So in theory, if I stand on these with the ropes, it should tell me the difference. So, as of today, 94 and a half kilos. I'm now 106 and a half kilograms. So, it's 22 kilos. Let me just double check. 22 kilograms. There's some heavy ass ropes. That's what I'm going to use. Wow. Don't reel wow. as well. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Right. 
Ropes in it. Gift. I think from Brad's client. He's trying to. If anyone wants one, they're more than welcome. Doing us all in. Take them away. We're doing anti cake. Anti cake stuff. <laughs> What do you like to know? Uh, Ropes. Listen, listen. If anyone has a problem with this T-shirt, direct so message like. me. Oh because God. I am not throwing this away. <laughs> it is all. Sure, it I find this very comfortable. He's lost a fucking. And life I fucking form. like it. So, anyone's <laughs> got a problem with this? this is the, what, what symbol is that? Well, it's an. All, it was the All Saints symbol. <laughs> this is going nowhere. <laughs> it's gonna fall off my back. You should wear that. Melt into me. You should wear that with your slippers. Yes. Then you'd look the part. Exactly what I'll do. <laughs> right. Right, are we ready? Let's go. Time. Oh. How are we gonna do it? Eh? How are we gonna do it? Eh? Do you want my timer? 15 on a lot. We're just getting back into the swing of things, so we're not going to do anything too quick. 15 seconds on. Don't worry about sticking to the long run. Brad looks so ready for this right now. Get the quads out. As you can see, Mike has never touched a cupcake in his life. Three.
point. Go! Come on! 